Hello students, uh, welcome to the channel Top Gate. Uh, today we'll discuss uh, very important questions that is often asked in gate exams as well as in many uh, university exams. Uh, that question is we have to design a PDA for uh, the language uh, in which uh, it contains equal number of A's and equal, equal number of B's. Fine. So in our previous uh, video, uh, we have learned the uh, we have learned to design the PDA that was for a language A to the power N, B to the power N. Fine. Now in in that uh, language also there was equal number of A's and equal number of B's, but with some extra restrictions on that. And what were those restrictions? Uh, these restrictions are uh, in that one the string always starts with A and the string always ends with B fine and if the B comes then after this B there is no A now all those restrictions we have removed in this question and in this one what I need I need to design a PDA for a language which has equal number of A's and equal number of B's fine so equal number of A's and B's means the string can start with A the string can start with B uh, there can be A after B, there can be B after A, so no restriction is there, fine. So we'll see how uh, we design a PDA for this particular language, fine. So the language here is L is equal to equal number of A's and B's, fine. So I'll design an input tape here and then uh, we'll uh, discuss how it works okay so we have some cells here in these cells i'll place anything suppose i'll take as a b b a fine so in this one in this string we have two a's and two b's so any string can come here fine so what i'll do uh, the logic in this one is uh, what i'll do uh, as soon as the first a comes then we'll push it into the stack fine and for this A, whenever a B comes, we will pop this A from the stack, fine. So every time A is coming, we are pushing it and every time B is coming, we are popping it out from the stack, fine. So we have this stack and in this stack, I'll, we have Z0 as the top stack element that is by default and the stack is currently empty. So what I'll do, this is Q0 that is the initial state and on this initial state the string can start with A. Right now the string is starting with A but string can start also with B. Fine. So I will take a self loop for A. Fine. So that is the element to process is A. The top stack element is Z0 and whenever A is coming we are pushing it. So whatever element is coming first we are pushing it. If B comes first we will push it then we will pop B for A. Fine. If A comes, we'll push it. Then we'll for B we'll pop A. Fine. So we'll do vice versa. So first A comes, top stack element is Z naught. So what are we doing? We are pushing it. A Z naught. Fine. So A comes, A is pushed into the stack. Okay. Now the string can also start with B. So what we can have here? B comma Z naught slash B Z naught. That is, if B comes first, if the string starts with B, we will push it into the stack. Now, if again after this A comes, fine, first A is pushed, then again one A comes, then what I'll have, this transition will not work for the second day. So for that second day, we'll write A comma A slash A A, fine. Similarly, if B comes again for the B, after B, so we'll again write like this, B comma B slash B B slash fine. So this works for all the A's and all the B's which are coming first and consecutively. Okay. Now after this A comes and all the A's have been pushed. Fine. So now take this one. First A comes we have pushed it. With this transition we have pushed this A into the stack. Now after this B comes what will happen? What I'll do? I'll simply remove it from the stack. So if this B comes, this pointer will come here this B comes and for this B I will pop this out A, fine. So for this one I'll again here only I'll write one move for popping out A. That is as soon as B comes and the top stack element is A. So what happens? We are popping this A out. That is we'll write epsilon here, fine. And similarly here if the top stack element is B and A comes then what will happen? A comes the top stack element is B again we are popping it out. Okay, now how do we do this? Now see, B comes, for this B we have popped one A. Now the stack currently is empty. Now again B comes, 
top stack element is z0 so we have moved for this one that is b comma z0 slash b z0 what does that mean that is if the top stack element is z0 and the uh, element to process is b so what do we do we push it so again what for this b what i'll do i will push it into the stack fine now again after this b a comes what will happen so when b is there and a comes so when b is there and a comes what will happen we'll again pop this b from the stack so as soon as this a comes we will simply pop it out and what is left z0 is left into the stack that is that means the z, uh, this the stack is currently empty fine so all these transitions will work and whatever element is coming first we are pushing it for the next element we are popping it fine now this string ends finally there is epsilon and we'll write a move for epsilon that is epsilon comma z0 slash z0 and go on to the state q1 which is the final state thank you so much